incredible group, right? Incredible. Let's hear it for them one more time, our firebrands. Yeah. And, and. For the amazing, many splendid, totally marvelous Meryl Streep. You know, I want to say, <laughs> you know, right from 2010, the very first year this summit began, when we were a little tiny gathering in a tiny hotel, Meryl was here. Meryl brought her spotlight, her grace, her brilliance to our stage because she believes in the connection of women. And she has been with us every year since. What an extraordinarily supportive and fantastic person that she is. I really want to... <laughs> you know, of all the great women that she's brought to us, from Karen Silkwood to Mrs. Pankhurst, the best role that she's ever played is that of Meryl Streep herself. I can't tell you, so... Um, we've heard and met so many outstanding women over the past few days. It's been a privilege to bear witness to their struggles and triumphs, their fears and hopes of what tomorrow will bring. And among the many things that they've taught us, I feel, is the beauty of diversity. There is such power in listening to voices that bring us news and insights far from our own experience and comfort zone where we dwell in our own little worlds. What they've told us over the last three days has brought us the richness and understanding of other cultures. We leave this theater so much more informed about issues we either knew little about or discovered for the very, very first time at this summit. But they've also taught us how joined we all are, as Barker said. That's what I kept feeling again and again. Not how different we all are, but how connected and how similar we are just that it expresses itself in different ways. How connected in commitment to ending the scourges of misogyny and ignorance and inequity. How women in the world is not an event, it's a community, not a conference, but a movement. And we were so happy that you were here to share it with us. I'd also like to thank all the men who participated and have supported women in the world over the last few years. Uh, For every misogynist, for every glum troll of a misogynist, there is a supportive and caring man. I happen to be married to one, by the way, and we need their involvement more and more. I'd like to thank our participants at Women in the World, all 110 of them, think of that, all of that firepower descending on this city in the last three days, for coming and sharing so generously their time and their energy. And I also want to acknowledge the outstanding progressive companies and foundations who joined our mission to amplify the efforts. Sincere thanks are due to our presenting sponsors, Toyota and to Merck. Our gratitude also to our leadership sponsors, Flex, MasterCard, Microsoft, and the Rockefeller Foundation. Our valued supporting sponsors, Ford Foundation, PepsiCo, and Thomson Reuters, and thanks, too, to AARP, the Aidan Dogan Foundation, Land's End, and the Tory Birch Foundation. And, of course, the New York Times, our partner in bringing women in the world, indeed, to the world. So how about a round of applause for all of them? Um, each of the smart conversations on our stage were also guided by our moderators, who were outstanding, I thought, in the last few days. Brilliant journalists, thinkers, Anchors, news people, all in the middle of election coverage and other things that they had to do, but they gave their time, they gave it willingly, and they were absolutely superb. Our gratitude to them all. And let's have a hand, too, for the Women in the World co-hosts, women of substance and distinction who helped get things off to such a fine start on one Wednesday night. And finally, the army, the army of women and world people behind the scenes who've given their all to make their summit such a success. Uh, I'd like to bring in on Women in the World's founding executive producer, Kyle Gibson, and director, Leonard Folio. Where are you guys? Yay! Take a bow. Uh, also deserving of the highest praise, Women in the World's senior producer, Anna Hall. Uh, our magnificent video producers from Point Studios, Susan Pacton, Josette Person, and their talented team. 
And finally, our thanks go out to you. Thank you for being here, heeding the call to support these valiant women you've seen. Let their examples lift and inspire you to make a difference in your own communities. There is a place for you in this fight to make the world a safer, more equitable world for women and girls. And do remember what Meryl said, everybody. Don't be bullied. Have a good afternoon and see you next year.